Hey, what's up? This is Reed. Today, I'm gonna to show you how your voice assistant can help you a little bit more, especially in your smart home. If you've used a voice assistant to control your smart home, you know there are a couple big limitations, like guests when they come over don't know how to use it, and sometimes you can even forget commands yourself. That's where blueprints come in and solve some of these issues. They're basically customizable skills that you can just fill in the blanks. And the main one that I've been using is custom Q&A, which has actually been really helpful. So this is an example of how it can work. Say someone wants to turn off the smart light bulbs, but they don't know how. They can just ask how to turn off the lights. She responds with a voice command, so it makes it really easy to know what to say. Just say, Alexa living room off. Living room off. Setting this up in the blueprints is very simple. In the app, blueprints are located along the left menu, or you can use the browser, which I prefer. You can write out the different ways to ask the question and what the answer is. What's really cool is that I don't have to say the exact question. For example, instead of saying how to control the lights, the way it's written in the blueprint, I can say, how do you control the lights? You can say, Alexa living room on. Even if a few words are different, it still nails it, which is pretty awesome. And this is better than routines because with routines, you have to have only one question that you have to say perfectly. Google Assistant can do this with their routines. You can have multiple phrases or questions and it will still respond with an answer you can customize. However, it can't do most of the other Alexa blueprint functionality, so be aware of that. I'm not biased towards Amazon. I'm just showing you what's available. And once Google adds some ability like this where you can just fill in these blanks for custom skills, I'll make sure to cover that in the future. Q&A with voice assistants isn't just for guests. Sometimes I use it for myself because even I forget some of my voice commands. For example, I can say, Alexa, what are the TV commands? You can say watch Fire TV or say pause and resume movie. Or I can say, what are the device names in case I need to drop into a room that I haven't dropped into in a while. Kitchen dot, living room dot. It's like the man or the manual command on the Linux terminal to help you run them, except it's for voice commands. If I can eliminate some of the friction I have with my voice assistants, then I'll have a better relationship with them. Yes, it's been two days since we last fought. Oh, be quiet. Zero days since we last fought. This Q&A can extend to other things outside of smart devices. For example, if you have a babysitter come over, it could be helpful. Say you're at a movie and your kid needs a band-aid. The babysitter could just ask the voice assistant instead of needing to call you. So there's a lot of things you could write in, like questions and answers, on where people could find things around your house. There is a babysitter blueprint, but I don't like it as much as the Q&A. The reason why is you have to say, open my babysitter, before you can ask it any questions on where things are. And this just isn't convenient. That's why I like the Q&A better, because you can just ask it a question without needing to open the skill first. You can also use this if you have an Airbnb or a short-term rental, and they have a house guest blueprint, which gives you the more full experience like a welcome message. Again, personally, I would just use the Q&A for this because it's much faster, but I do think this would be really helpful if I were a guest staying somewhere and they had this. If you wanna create your own custom skill for Alexa, you have a few options. For those of you who aren't developers, there is a service called VoiceFlow which allows you to build out a custom skill without code. It's free to use for the first couple of skills, and it might be worth checking out. If you know Python or Node.js like I do, then you can create your own custom skill that way. I was looking into it, and I'm really excited to make a custom skill. I have a few ideas that I have, but if you guys have any, especially smart home related, I would love to hear them down in the comments. And I'll be sharing my experience on making the custom skill in a future video, so make sure to subscribe so you don't miss it. There are a couple of other useful blueprints out there that can give dynamic answers. One of them is the how many days skill. My daughter is really excited to go back to school, so instead of always asking me how many days are left or my wife, she can ask her third parent, Alexa. How many days until school starts? Another day closer. School starts is 47 days away. It's really awesome that it can respond with how many days are left. And not all blueprints are this easy to use though. For example, Task Tracker looks like a really useful blueprint. However, it's clunky and it takes a while. I don't think I would ever use it because of that. That's the problem with some of these blueprints. They're not quick to use, which kind of defeats the convenience of a voice assistant being able to help you with something quickly. Amazon has updated their blueprints over the years, so hopefully this improves. Oh, and there's a chore chart which kind of reminds me of Deacon this. Deacon 
on dishes and it still hasn't moved in five years. Major props to anyone that can name this movie. I think blueprints are a great way for anyone to customize skills for their family because you can just fill in the blanks without any coding involved. It's amazing to see how far the voice assistant technology has developed over the years and I'm excited to see where it will be in the future. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Elsa, where is the money? It's under the mattress. Whoa, where'd you get that? From the other parents. Mom gave that to you? No, the other parents.